All right, so you're gonna go ahead and add a domain um, as a first step. I've already added the covert code here, so I'll go to it. Okay, once you add the domain, the next step is gonna be to first go to bot zapping. You will see the new domain appear. When you go add domain, you'll see your new domain here and you're gonna add it. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a series of codes. So if I go here and I go to cover a code, there's an authentication key, domain key, and a secret key that you will see upon your first uh, lecture right here. Um, now inside of the website, inside of the website, you're gonna go to your plugins. And you're gonna now look for, you're gonna do another add plugin and you're gonna look for Clixies. Okay, once you activate it, you'll see it appear on the right side of the plugins. Oh, sorry. Now scroll down to the bottom, click Cease. And you are gonna copy, paste, pop, 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 activate. It might take a second for it to be visible over in Click Cease. Turn monitoring, it's gonna be set defaulted this way, which means it'll block bots turn it the other way. You just want it to monitor. You don't want to lose any traffic until you know that there's an issue. So this will just monitor it. And you definitely want paid marketing to be on. That's the number one reason we're using this tool. Now we're going to go to um, our paid marketing. They're going to make you log in again. Very secure. All right. Now that your campaign is um, set up, you're going to go to domain settings and I'm already connected to Google ads, but you're going to click Google ads. You're just going to follow the steps. There's two ways to connect Google ads. There is, um, you can log into Google or you can put the account number in Google. I'm actually going to go to Google ads. I tried to record this for you, but I recorded the wrong screen. So these things happen online. So you sign in. All right, so if you connect directly with Google, you won't have to do the step. But if you just take the number, the digits of your account, and you connect that way, then you are going to have to grant yourself access. When you're inside of the account underneath admin, there's access and security. You're going to go to security. Um, this is also how you add a custom domain, you know, for if you were trying to grant me access, it would be Anna at covertcommunication.com, my email. So I need to protect and make any domain um, that will be authorized to access our account, you need to add them under security. Underneath managers, you're gonna see the click cease link pop up and you're gonna say yes. You're gonna allow that to be added. All right, now back under the dashboard, you can also add Facebook if you're running Facebook ads. And now under domain settings, depending on what type of industry you're in, there are different what's called thresholds. Um, so I'm going to just allow it to pick what it wants right now. If I pick advertising, you saw it's a little bit different. I can replace with mine. What this is going to protect is the integrity of what we call thresholds. What we don't want is a competitor or the same customer to click multiple times on our ad, which can inflate our cost. We want them to click once pass it off to remarketing to take it the rest of the way. Over a period of time, it is okay for an ad to reappear. Remember, we only typically remark to customers on the lower funnel for seven to 30 days, right? So if your average cycle is 60 days, then a second click will be required and you want to make sure that your ad can be clicked on. How we're going to know if this works later is, um, well, I'll show you, but first make sure to update your threshold rules. And then scroll down and you got, are going to um, enable block by country and then only allow clicks from the United States or whatever is relevant to your business. Click update allow countries and everything else should be fine and good to go. 
Next, manage auto IP. You want to set this, we'll be set to 30, make it 90. We want to block as many IPs as we possibly can, make this 500 and turn on the IP range. Uh, because I have multiple accounts, I am cross blocking across all my domains. But if you're a single user, then you're going to want to do cross platform blocking, meaning that if we block an IP from a Google ad, we can also block it from a Facebook ad at the same time, right? So that helps maintain the integrity of your campaign. Now, what we're going to look for later um, is a, an overview of our <clears throat> of our of our fraud. But we'll wait till our ads get revved up, and then we can monitor them in real time together. Thanks so much.